Anyone watch the Oscars? Did you even know the Oscars were on tonight? So Oppenheimer won Best Picture. Maestro got snubbed. Barbie got snubbed. I think Barbie took home some awards. But Bradley Cooper and Leonardo DiCaprio, they all got snubbed. But I think the award of the night, and what was with John Cena coming out naked? Now, apparently he was supposed to be reenacting what happened in 1974 at the Oscars where he had this streaker go across the stage. But he just couldn't quite go through with it. Come on, John Cena, go all the way. I mean, if the Oscars, these people in Hollywood believe that we should let it all hang out, do what you want to do. Who are you to judge me? Who are you to deny my love? What we do is for the children, for the oppressed in our society. We're the Academy Awards. Pardon me. <clears throat> the Association of Motion Pictures and Sciences. Well, I think the award of the night really should have gone to the January 6th committee. So this is at Fox News. Have you seen this one? So allegedly, that's the word they use in their headline here at Fox News. And as you know, Fox News isn't as conservative as they used to be. Now, I'm a middle-of-the-road guy. But either something is or it isn't. I call a spade a spade. That's just how I am. I mean, what's the point of watching this channel if I don't, right? So welcome back to the Channel Culture Confederacy here. It's Sunday night. But I didn't even realize the Oscars were on tonight. Well, I think I saw something about it last week, but I can remember if it was this weekend, next weekend. They always change the date with these things. As I said before, they should just move them to the spring. So getting to the issue at hand here. So allegedly, the January 6th committee suppressed critical testimony of Anthony Ornato, who confirms that Mark Meadows was on the phone with the mayor of D.C. at the time, Mario Bowser, requesting an additional 10,000 National Guard troops as Trump requested. And a former representative for, or spokesperson for Representative Liz Cheney is saying that this report that has come out, which was released Friday, is quote-unquote flatly false. But you knew the gig was up. And I mentioned this before. I've been beating this drum for months. I've been asking this question for months. How come there wasn't enough security January 6th in a town that constantly sees rallies and protests? But conveniently, on January 6th, we didn't have enough security to handle the crowd. Scratch my head on that one. So as I mentioned, the report in question, released Friday, highlights this quote-unquote hidden transcript of Anthony Ornato's testimony. Now, this contradicts the committee's uh, report with a claim here that Trump did not request additional troops, trying to show that Trump engaged in insurrection. Now, here's some of the headlines that are out there, the headline here at Fox News. And there's one at the LA Times going back to August of last year. Oh, this is a screamer, folks, a real screamer. So according to Fox News, January 6th committee allegedly suppressed testimony showing Trump administration pushed for National Guard presence over at Mediate. Liz Cheney bashes Mark Levin for, quote-unquote, spreading BS about January 6th. Apparently, Levin was quoting this report in The Federalist about this report that came out Friday, this, quote-unquote, suppressed testimony. But the most laughable headline, as I said, goes back to August of last year, L.A. Times. As you know, the L.A. Times is barely holding water right now. I think they've laid off a whole bunch of people. So according to this article in August of last year, 2023, LA Times, Republicans say January 6th panel withheld evidence. It's complicated. So their argument in that article, and this is just too funny. Their argument here 
is that this investigation is loose and subject to the interpretation of each new Congress. So these invest, uh, investigations are. Really? As I said, either something is or it isn't. And they're saying that Loudermilk, Barry Loudermilk, Republican, that, it's, uh, that his report was not accurate. Talking about um, the January 6th findings. And saying that Laudermith admitted that his report was incomplete. But I think they were basing this on the evidence or the information they had at the time. And Renato also claims that he overheard White House, then White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, on the phone, as I mentioned, with D.C. Mayor Mario Bowser requesting as much protection as necessary. But it turns out that Bowser just asked for over 300 National Guard troops Asked him to be unarmed and just assist the police. So what's going on here? Who's lying? I'd really like to know. Who's lying here? But when you've got the January 6th committee that's editing a clip where Trump said, now let's peacefully and patriotically march to the Capitol to make our voices heard. And they just edit that part out and it says, now let's march to the Capitol. Uh, There's a question there. And we had 4,000 hours worth of videotape that hasn't been released to the public. And we know the January 6th committee saw that, according to Tucker Carlson. What happened to Tucker Carlson? Where's Tucker Carlson now? Now, I know people have their issues with Tucker Carlson. So I'm not a diehard Levin or Tucker Carlson fan or Ben Shapiro fan. I respect a lot of what these people do. May agree with them sometimes, may not. But I'm a middle-of-the-road guy. I call it as I see it. You have to. If you're going to be honest, you have to call it as you see it. And Trump has not been charged with anything. That's the irony in this whole thing. Trump has not been charged with insurrection. Congress is not a court of law. But they were trying to make him look guilty. Pardon me. They were trying to make him look uh, guilty. That's exactly what they were doing. So uh, Liz Cheney and Adam... Kingsinger and all these cats on uh, the January 6th committee need to come out and say, uh, what's up here? Who'd you talk to? Why wasn't this testimony with Anthony Renato made known to the public? Why did you suppress it if, in fact, you did suppress it? Because if they suppressed it, that would tear a hole in this whole narrative that Trump somehow engaged in insurrection or that he was trying to overthrow the government. I mean, if Trump really overthrew the government, Biden would not be president now. We wouldn't have a government. Hello? So I thought I'd share this with you. Oscar, tonight was the Oscars and the award of the night, Oscar of the night, should have really gone to the January 6th committee. Thank you, Liz Cheney and Adam Kingsinger. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can also follow me on Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or you can find me at X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed 1 on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. And you know how we do it here. This is where the past crashes with the present. I'll catch you next time. And you all have a great Sunday night.